you're not coming with me, girl. You're going to stay here. you well me nothing What's i'm not asking me? you if it's febreze no it's lotion you don't like how it smells yeah it smells like febreze well that's not good well, no one is for me huh one is for me no yes why <laughs> organic at least here if you want the other you have to throw this out throw this out <laughs> the big guns Always. cowboy Oof. good morning everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to another unfiltered vlog this is where i do like very minimal editing kind of unedited style including leaving that in exhibit a okay <laughs> This is gonna be a week in my life and I think the focus is going to be just on moving. It's gonna be work. I've got a lot to catch up on from last week. Last week was really rough. Maggie, come here. Come here. I totally lost my train of thought. Moving, work, oh, wellness, okay? I'm really on a bit of a wellness kick trying to get into not trying, getting into my kind of new life and what I want my life to look like and to feel like and what I want my routine to look and feel like. So I've really been working hard on that and it's really fun and it's just like this kind of very positive challenge that I'm really up for. So that's what's up. Maggie's crying and you guys saw the cat in the bathroom this morning. So we are currently cat sitting. It's not our new cat. Um, we're cat sitting for JS's mom who is still in Florida. That is her new cat. She's a little baby. I've named her Sandy as a kind of interim name. It's probably not what her name's gonna say because it's very English. But Maggie started out really scared of Sandy but now she really, really wants to be Sandy's friend. And Sandy is like, no ma'am, I do not wanna be your friend. They're getting there. I imagine it takes you know quite some time for the dog and the cat to get used to each other. We're at like a week now, I wanna say. Um, and it's already significantly better. But Maggie's also really jealous. So anytime one of us goes into the bathroom, if we don't let Maggie in, she starts crying because she thinks we're going to play with Sandy without her, even if you're just going to take a shower or whatever. So yeah, we've kind of made the bathroom Sandy's sanctuary because she was just so scared being out in the open. She was like really afraid of Maggie and she really hated Maggie. So we've let her have the bathroom as her kind of territory. And yeah, Maggie just cries anytime you go in there. Anyways, in other news, um, this morning is going so well. I just love Mondays so much. And ugh, I'm just getting ready for my kind of like first breakfast. I just, well, not just, I got home maybe 30 minutes ago from work um, and I already had a protein shake there. That's like my new habit that I'm trying to get into is bringing a protein shake with me to work. And then I come home and I make a kind of little breakfast. Today we're gonna do yogurt bowls and I've just been sort of defrosting these frozen raspberries, but they're still gonna be pretty cold. I have been feeling very well since I moved here. I just think the kind of bright space, whereas my old place was very like dark and kind of cluttered, um, is very, I don't know, conducive to wellness, I wanna say. Maybe it's just my mindset too, like seeing this as like a totally fresh start has been really, really motivating. Um, but you know, it's no nothing's perfect. Like it's not like, oh, you move and like your life is just perfect. It just changes overnight. It's actually been very, very challenging. We'll sit down later and like, I'm gonna kind of talk to you guys about, oh my God, I'm making a mess. About how the move has been and like, Last week was really rough. So we'll talk about that. We'll talk about all of it. 
But for now, we're making a little breakfast. I do want to say I feel like I'm really proud of myself for these changes that I've been implementing, especially with the breakfast because I used to just never, okay, that's not true. I used to very often skip breakfast just because I thought I wasn't hungry, but I was really just like suppressing my appetite with like tea or coffee because of the caffeine. So I was like, oh, I'm not hungry. I'll just wait until later to eat. Um, and I think that just really, it's just not good for you. So I'm really proud of myself for the strides that I'm making in order to like have breakfast more. Like I would have never done this kind of yogurt bowl before. If I did, I would do it like twice until my yogurt ran out and then I would never buy it again. So that feels really good. And like adding nuts on top, I mean, who am I? This, I do have to say, is all because of Jean because I would never buy this kind of stuff. But it's nice, it's nice to have. And you know what, I'll buy the refill. Can you hear that? I said it's nice to have these nuts and I never would have bought them for myself. So it's thanks to you that I have them. Pecans and uh, walnuts. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll shut up. How good does this look? <laughs> okay, and I'm cutting out caffeine. So this is my new morning tea with no caffeine. Oh, wait, I'll show it to you in English. <laughs> Turmeric herbal tea. I'm out for a walk. It's so beautiful outside. It really feels like spring. There's a lot of snow, but it feels so good. Um, it's about midday now and so I still have yet to start work. That is the problem when I start or when I work in the mornings, it makes it, it makes for a late start to my work day. But the thing that I'm working on is again on that wellness is like still doing a morning routine when I get home from work because otherwise, Maggie, what are you doing? We've been stalled here for like two minutes. I don't know, she's just sniffing something. Yeah, can we go? Can we go or are you gonna stand here all day? I just want to get better at having like a stable morning routine. So even when I go to work, I still come home and have breakfast and take a moment to myself to read and still walk the dog, even though JS already did it because like something that I kind of thought about was like these dog walks, I don't have to just see them as being for Maggie and like, okay, something I gotta do, like, you know, like brushing your teeth or whatever, you gotta walk the dog, but like, it's good for me too <laughs> to get out and walk the dog. So even though he already takes her out, still taking time for me and her to go out together and it's really, really nice. But then on the flip side, it's kind of tricky because it's like, okay, it's almost noon and I haven't started work yet. So what I'm telling myself and like, I'm just kind of thinking out loud here is like, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like I make up a routine in my head and I decide to put it into action. It can change. It doesn't have to be perfect. And also I really need to stop confining myself to that nine to five schedule because I don't need to work on that schedule anymore, but it's still so engraved in me. And I think too, because my friends and my boyfriend, you know, they all work on that schedule. I do try and kind of adhere to it, but I don't have to. So I should just be grateful that I'm out for a walk, you know, midday. So that's where we're at. When I get home, my focus today is on editing videos. I've been filming so much, but I haven't been keeping up with the editing. So we're just gonna edit, edit, edit all afternoon. Something else I just thought of is actually, well, it's funny because I used to go for walks all the time when I work nine to five, like I was like, okay, break time, whatever. I'm stricter with myself now that I work for myself. I'm like, no breaks, never get up from your desk. And like, it's so toxic. So I really need to work on breaking that habit. And also being gentle on myself, like, because I don't see my work at the spin studio as like true work. I don't count it as like productive time. So I'm like, oh, I haven't been productive yet today, bitch. <laughs> I went to work for three hours this morning. Like, I think, I think you were productive. Gene wants, Gene wants me to recreate no, what just happened. You can't say it. It has to be no, natural. Like Can I vlog for a second?
Okay, that was way more than what happened prior. Yeah, because I did do it. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're running some little after work errands and I need to show you guys this. While moving and decluttering, we found so much change in Jean's closet, in, in everything. This is all yours. Maybe I contributed 25 cents to this. And this is heavy, you guys. This is big and heavy. So we're gonna take it to one of those Coinstar machines and we're gonna see how much money there is in here. How much is it cut me? Uh, I don't remember, 5%? It's more than that, but like, are you gonna deal with this yourself? No. Can I go in? Can I be the one to do it? So how much money do you think is in here? Wait, no, we should do this in the comments. You guys, guess how much money, it's like those jelly bean things. Guess how much is in here. I know it's kind of hard to tell. And then we'll be able to see who gets it right. Jane, do you have a guess? Yeah, I would say $85. 85? Okay, I feel like there's $100 in here. So I'm gonna guess $100. So yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's say 140. You think 140? Yeah. My jaw was literally on the floor. Are you ready? Yeah. $200. Pre-commission or after commission? After commission. So it was 240. The commission is 12 and a half percent. Wow, that's a lot. That's really high. So the commission wow. was 30 something, like $37. There was $200. $200 in that. So sitting in your closet. Yeah. Think of all the things you could have bought pre-inflation. Yeah. You could have bought a house. You could have bought a house back then. Wow, 200 bucks. 200 bucks. Man. So. Well, change does add up, eh? You know what they say, a series of small change makes a big impact. Oh, that's what they say. That's what they say. I'm on my way to the gym. I'm gonna try doing 12, 3.30. I've never done it before. Good morning from my office. Maggie's here with me. This is our first official work day in the office. We came last night and got it straightened up because like this table was on its side, the couch was on its side. It was very much not in working order. It's still extremely cluttered. I think I overshot the amount of space in here. My plants are like, hello. But we're here and we're gonna get some work done. It feels really weird to be here, but also really exciting. Uh, I just met one of my neighbors for the first time because this is, it's not like an official co-working space. We all have closed offices, um, but it's all like small teams and small businesses. So I just met um, my kind of across the hall neighbor. She came over and said hi, which is so nice. And I just feel a little bit weird. I kind of feel like a kid. Um, in their like first day of school or something where I'm like <laughs> and I'm like, okay sit down and like be productive now Zoe, but it definitely just feels strange being Kind of in this new environment, but it also feels so Amazing and surreal like I can't believe I have my own office So I just need to like kind of get my head out of the clouds right now and get to work I think I, I forget if I just said this but Tuesdays are my contract days. So it's nine it's almost 9.30 and we're gonna get started. I wanna do my agenda and I just realized I have no idea where my pens are. And I forgot my computer a charger at home. These are just little things I guess I'm gonna have to get used to. Okay, so I finally calmed down and managed to get some work done, which feels really good. I feel like I'm going to be able to be really, really productive in this space, which is amazing. I'm about to head out. That's why I'm wearing 
active wear today i'm going to a bar class with my friend daria um but before i head out i just want to take a picture of this of the bar cart because i don't really love how it looks in here and i think i'm gonna sell it actually now that i'm looking at it i'm getting cold feet i'm like hmm, do i actually want to sell it it's just that it takes up so much room but now it kind of looks good i don't know i don't know basically just in general though i need to do a big declutter of the office because i kind of imagined it being bigger than it is i mean it's it's it, it's very big for an office like i can fit my couch i can fit my big desk there's there's no need for extra room but i really brought a lot of stuff with me so i'm really gonna have to downsize and you've been a very good girl for our first time here well just in general not even for a first time but i'm kind of surprised at how good you've been you've been so good thank you thank you look at those cute paws look at those cute paws okay let's go to bar class and then i'll be right back here after to get more work done I'm back home now I just home <laughs> I'm back at the office and I just made a little rooibos tea to kind of simulate a caffeine tea I forget if I said this earlier but we're cutting out caffeine right now I feel extremely exhausted I don't know I don't know why life's just kind of been been kicking me lately I just I feel really really tired almost every single day. I feel like it's just residual stuff with the move. Um, I don't know. I actually think probably what it is is that I've been waking up early but not sleeping early enough and I just, just like, I just don't want to admit it but I really need to start going to bed earlier. Anyways, we're back at the office. It's about three o'clock. Oh my God, it's already 3.30. And I just want to get a few more hours of copywriting work in. I kind of slacked on the copywriting front last week so i need to pick up that slack this week but it was really nice to go to that workout class that could also be why i'm tired because i really gave that class my all i really challenged myself and pushed myself which i'm really really proud of normally bar classes are really hard and sometimes like you're pulsing and you're doing these movements and you just want to drop your leg because it hurts so much but i really told myself to push through that discomfort today um and it was it was a really good feeling so maybe that's why i'm tired as well and i walked okay you know what it's all making sense now i walked to the studio i walked back it was like almost 30 minutes each way yes now it's starting to add up after the class though my friend daria and i went to this bagel shop and we got this little lunchbox kit it was so good it was my first time going there for anything other than just like a bagel and cream cheese and it was really good and really affordable i love finding those little spots that you can go hang out with a friend at get a good lunch or a good meal without needing to go to somewhere that's like super trendy kind of pretentious and always very expensive so that was a win of course i paid with my cash envelopes and i don't know i just I, you guys know i was thinking the other day that i just want to start implementing more financial talks in kind of all of my videos or in as many videos as possible because money and sticking to my budget has become such a part of my daily life in a positive way where it used to be in a very negative way very anxious way it's very very positive and i honestly owe it all to this cash envelope system if you know my videos you know you know me and these envelopes by now but I'm really, really passionate about it. I love it so much. And I really wanna thank The Line for sponsoring this video. I talk about The Line and I talk about their products in almost every single one of my videos, definitely in every single monthly money video. So the fact that we're working together now on a sponsored level is so, so cool. Today, we are going to be highlighting the cash envelope system as well as this new folio. I feel like I've showed this in a couple videos, but this is the new premium folio so it's made to be a planner but you can also use it for your cash envelopes like me what makes this one so special is that it is made of premium saffiano leather so when you go into 
I don't know, like a fancy store and you look at, let's say a designer handbag or a high quality handbag, oftentimes they are made with this material. So when I'm carrying this, I feel like I'm holding a piece of luxury, which is so amazing. Also, you guys, I think the best part is that on the inside, it's monogrammed. October, November, December, January, February. So I've been committed to the cash envelope system for five months now. So for me, it feels really right to have upgraded to something like this. This of course was a gift, but it's such good quality. I would buy it again with my own money. So it made sense timing wise that, you know, now's the time to upgrade it to a little bit of a higher quality and more luxurious way of carrying my cash envelopes around because essentially this is my wallet that I carry with me every single day. Prior to getting this folio, I was using their vegan leather folio, which I honestly love just as much. It just feels a touch less luxurious, but it gets the job done and it's perfect. And I always felt good carrying these around with me as well. So I have the white one and the black one. So it's kind of crazy that now I have three folios. I really recommend having two so that you're not carrying every single one of your envelopes around with you at all times. I feel like just for safety purposes, as well as for not having access to so much cash in order to control your spending, that's really helpful as well. The envelopes themselves that I use are also from the line and these are customized. So I was able to go online, type in exactly what I wanted the envelope to say. And so I have this spent on credit one. So it's specific to me. If you have ever thought about getting started with the cash envelopes method, I recommend it wholeheartedly through and through. I think it's really nice to invest a little bit in your system when you're getting started. You could obviously start with just, you know, some paper envelopes, but these, I feel like they get messy. They're not long lasting. You're always gonna have to replace them. And having a system that you can put in your purse or your bag and just carry around with you and feel confident, I think really backs me in sticking to this method. So if you've been wanting to try the cash envelopes, this is what I recommend. This would be the sequence that I would recommend. Start with the envelopes and start with one folio. After the first month, if all goes well, you might see that you need more envelopes or different envelopes. That's when I would get a second folio and some more envelopes. And then after a couple months, once you've seen that you love it and that you've stuck with it, I would definitely recommend upgrading to the more luxurious folio and you can save up for this one. That would be the sequence that I would recommend and that's actually the exact sequence that I got all of these things and it's just worked out so well for me. I talk about this all the time, but this system has totally changed my life, totally changed my relationship with budgeting and it's actually all thanks to the line because they're the ones who reached out, they watched my videos and they were like, Zoe, we think this method would work for you. Lo and behold, it did and now we're partnering on videos together. How amazing. The line has so many amazing products. You can check them all out and the code ZOE10 will get you 10% off your entire purchase, whether it's envelopes, whether it's stationary, whether it's the digital budget tracker, which I use as well. All of it, all of it, all of it. I will link everything I showed down below. Thank you so much to the line for sponsoring this video. And thank you to all of you who watch my videos and make it possible to turn these kind of, you know, one-off purchases into recurring partnerships on my channel, products that I use and love, carry with me every single day. It's a dream come true, so thank you so much. I can't believe this is my life right now, filming, you know, a sponsorship for this brand that I use every day and love so much. Sitting in my office, like, I just said how exhausted I am, but I honestly feel very fulfilled in my heart and very happy, so thank you. Okay, unfiltered vlog. I just broke my ring light. I just backed up into it. It was already kind of broken. Like this part was not sticking on that good anymore, but I just broke it. Oh man. I was planning on buying a new one and I feel like this is my sign. I mean, I have no choice. <laughs> yeah, I was just getting dressed up to go. Oh man. I somehow managed to fix it. It's definitely not perfect and I still need a new one, but it's usable. I managed to, it actually, I shouldn't even take credit for that. It managed to not break too badly. Okay, I'm going home now. We're gonna go make some HelloFresh for dinner. I was actually supposed to go out for dinner with Camilla tonight, um, but the restaurant we reserved is closed. So somehow they let me make a reservation, but they're not actually open. Um, so we're gonna have a night in, make some HelloFresh, and something big is happening tomorrow. 
I think I'm gonna take this closed restaurant. as a sign to go to bed early and work on how tired I am for that big thing tomorrow. <laughs> I'm just trying to find a creative way to cut to it. Good morning. Today's the day. I'm actually so excited. I'm being a freak, but I'm in Griffin Town. That's a hint if you guys watch my vlogs. Okay, this is gross, so if you're easily grossed out, like, skip forward. But today's the day I'm getting my ingrown toenail removed. I've had this thing for, like, probably over 10 years. I'm so excited to get it out. I'm also scared because I've heard that it hurts really, really bad. But I think the relief of getting it out is going to be worth it. I just finished my morning work shift and then I walked down here to Griffintown having the best morning. It's cold, but it feels like spring, like spring is coming and I just feel like a weight off of my shoulders. Soon there's going to be a weight off of my toe. <laughs> and it's just good times. It's just good news. I'm, I'm so excited. There, there's two reasons why I've been sharing this whole ingrown toe journey. One, because I think it's funny. And two, because I think it's important to do these things that we've been putting off for years and years and years, but it's for us and it's taking care of us. And so I just kind of wanted to like set that example, if you will, of like, go to the dentist, take care of yourself, get your ingrown toenails removed, like do these things because it's important. Okay, I'm gonna cross the street. And although I am scared, although I know it's gonna hurt, I'm excited because I'm gonna go get a yogurt bowl right now at La Beta Pain in Griffin Town. I got it last time and it was so good. Okay, it's Construction City, bye. Oh, I think it looks nice. Yeah, but it does this. <laughs> You're here to support me on my ingrown toenail journey? Yes. No, wait. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be filming TikToks the whole time. Perfect, that's what we want. And you're gonna try this yogurt bowl, which is what I've been craving for the last like two months since I came here. Yeah, And time. look, your cappuccino. Oh, that's a cappuccino. Is a real cappuccino. That is sweet. Yeah. And look, this is what happens when you live together. You unintentionally dress matching. So sad. <laughs> Being so gentle, so gentle, so gentle, please. Good, everybody. Good, everybody. Yeah, it's okay. No. Oh, okay, that, okay, that did not go to plan. Oh my God, okay. Hi guys, so it's Wednesday afternoon. As you just saw, I tried to come introduce the cat to you all. We have made some amazing progress with this cat. Earlier today, her and Maggie were licking each other. They were cut, like, not quite cuddling. Okay, I'm exaggerating. But they were becoming friends. We've been working really hard on like slowly introducing them. And today felt like a huge breakthrough. It actually brought tears to my eyes because it was just so sweet. And so I thought, okay, well, I can hold the cat and show her to you guys. Um, but no, they weren't, they weren't having it, so. Hi. Can you lie down on your bed? Good job. Okay, so <laughs> I'm so scared of Maggie around my foot because she, she's a big girl and she's very like hulking, you know? She's like, oh, and uh, my foot is very sensitive. It's like wrapped up in a Band-Aid. It pretty, like it hurts. I wanna say it's definitely uncomfortable and I've kind of just been acting, I don't know. I, I took a sick day today basically, um, sort of. I edited reels on my phone. So I'm like, it was productive. It was also really fun. And I just kind of lay around. Something about doing that very minor surgery just had me feeling like, ugh, I don't, I can't be productive today. So I'm actually alone in the apartment right now. And I think this is the first time that I'm alone. JS went out to go meet up with one of his friends and I'm gonna watch like a cheesy movie on Netflix and eat some ice cream and wait for him to come back. I'm actually really happy to have a little bit of alone time um, because I get to talk to you guys about 
the whole move and just kind of let you in on how it's been going and i mentioned at the beginning of the video that things were a little bit rough last week so let's talk about it it's funny because this week i'm feeling so much better and the more we move into this week the more i'm already forgetting about how rough i was feeling last week but literally saturday morning i was crying into my french toast like we made french toast and i just started crying i was feeling super super upset um i kept having this feeling so i think when we first moved in um i felt very excited it felt really fun and then it kind of just felt like i was spending the weekend here and then it was turning into an extended weekend and then i had this feeling where i was like okay well when am i going home when am i going to my apartment and it was like no like you're not going you live here now and so i think that adjustment was a little bit difficult i did have these moments which i completely did not expect i did not expect to miss the apartment and miss like being alone i guess um but I did, I missed it. And I was like, okay, when, like, what's, and it's like, oh no, like that doesn't exist anymore. You can't go there anymore. Um, so it was just an adjustment. The thing that helped so much, I think, is actually going and working from my office way more consistently this week, like getting it cleaned up, actually going there. Because for me, I do think as, like, I love JS so much and needing alone time is not a reflection of how much or how little you love someone, but I definitely needed some alone time to like recharge. Plus things here have just been a bit chaotic. I think with the move and everything, we were so busy too that we felt like, I don't know, it didn't feel like we had enough time for like us and to like celebrate and be excited about living together. It was just like very go, go, go. We welcomed the cat into the house too, which like really changed things. And Maggie was very stressed. So there was just a lot going on at once. And I think I just had this very overwhelmed feeling and I was like, what did I do? What, what did I do? Did I make a mistake? Oh my gosh, what did I do? But I can happily say that I'm feeling so much better this week. And like, even just things with the cat, like having her be more integrated. I'm looking behind me actually in the viewfinder. She knocked this basket over. She is crazy. So it's just very, very good. And it's very reassuring. And I think it's normal to look back and be like, oh, and like have that transition period. And maybe it'll come back that I'm like, oh, I miss this apartment. But we're Wednesday and I haven't had that feeling yet. So that's been really nice. Funny enough, we actually went skiing on Sunday night and I think that really helped. There's something so therapeutic for me about skiing. There's also been something really therapeutic about this cat. Like when I hold her and she starts purring, it's like a meditation. It like brings me into the present moment and kind of working with her and Maggie, like working on that training and like getting them, you know, both calm and, and, able to like be with each other that has been very calming and therapeutic for me i'm like oh this is animal therapy like this is real because maggie's a very anxious dog so she's not always super calming for me like sometimes she is and sometimes she's not so having to for me to be calm and the two of them together that was really really cool anyways i feel like i had all of these thoughts about like moving and blah 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 and like i literally just can't remember them now all that to say it was a little bit rough last week the house is still like a disaster like i'm not looking around and like oh my god i love it so much it's exactly how i want it but it takes time and i'm telling myself girl be patient be patient it will come um and i'm really i don't know I think just focusing on this new routine and everything, I really feel at peace and I really feel happy. And like, I just wanna keep going, working on the routine and like just being more calm. Uh, who even am I? I don't know. Maybe it's because the ingrown toenail has been removed from my foot that like a part of me. Are you a good girl? Are you a good girl playing with your, your little caddy sister who's not really your sister? who's not actually gonna be your sister, which makes me sad. Are you a good girl? The other thing with the cat is I have to be very careful not to get too attached. I really find myself like falling in love with that cat, but it's not ours to keep. And I'm like, Zoe, you gotta be careful. I'm gonna have one of these before dinner because I can.
Katie Stevens from The Bold Type. Yeah. Our next story is kind of crazy. I am obsessed with Natasha Ocean. I don't know why it took me so long to find her videos, but they're so good and her energy is just amazing. And I just made a really big lunch for myself. We've got two eggs, avocado toast, and my little dessert toast. Hello, we are on the road. What is this behind me? A giant giant mattress. We're driving to Ottawa to deliver this to my mother. There's also a ton of stuff. All of my old sheets, my amazing Brooklyn and sheets that I'm gonna miss so much will live on at my mom's house. And the car is stuffed, it's crazy. That's why Jean's driving, because I was too scared to drive with this thing. Maggie's here because there's no room for her in the back. And this is actually the best spot because we get so many cuddles and it's so cute. It's Friday, we're gonna have an amazing weekend. I'm so excited. We're also going to Ottawa because ages ago, ages ago, I bought these tickets to go see a play for the book Fall on Your Knees. I know some of you have read it, but it's such a good book and they've turned it into a play. When I saw that, I knew we had to get tickets, we had to go see it and it's in two parts. I think it's two three hour parts, one tonight, one tomorrow night. Um, so it's basically like Harry Potter, but of a really, really sad book. Anyways, that's gonna be really fun. And I'm so excited because I've left my laptop at home and we're just gonna have like a fun, hopefully stress-free weekend, starting with this play. So I'm gonna close up this video. Maybe I'll take some clips at uh, the theater. We're going to National Arts Center in Ottawa. Sure, it's well, no, just to show them the theater, not the oh, act, not the, of the play. The, yeah. Thank you just for telling that I'm in the play. That's oh, that's why there's partial nudity. Yeah. In the play. Yeah. You're gonna go get nude. Yeah. Because you're Tatiana. Yeah. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching this week in my life, unfiltered <laughs> vlog style. I had so much fun hanging out with you. I feel like this week just went all over the place. Um, but it was a good one. It was a really, really good one. So thanks for hanging out. I'm so excited. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. 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 Maggie says bye. Yeah. Oh, she's tired.